my father in law always told me the thing that professionals value the least in their life is time. So if you think that you can responsibly outsource this to a mutual fund, I think 95% of people should be doing it. I also think that people think of mutual fund in a very limited way. So it's a little equity mutual fund. They don't realize the range of options that there is out there between mutual funds and ETFs. Actually, you have a very wide range of product options, you know, from the most aggressive to the most conservative individual from uh, global stuff to US technology to mining to China. There's pretty much everything that you can do on an MF platform today if you want to be a passive investor. And for most of us, passive investing and not passive in the ETF sense, just buying, holding, being quiet and going about the rest of our lives actually works. I myself am a very passive investor. So people kept asking me, what did you do in March 2020 with your money? And the answer was, I actually did nothing. I continued my SIPs. They were happening. I do SIPs every month because I'm a salaried professional. And they just happened. And to most of us, that's a perfectly good way to live our lives. Yeah, well, it's not fun. It's like... And you know, I the, and this is the thing I question. I agree, trading is cool and trading is fun. And I started out as a quant trader myself. Uh, and perhaps it's on the mutual fund industry to make what we do a little more interesting. So that's, uh, you know, we have something to be inspired by. But I don't think investing fundamentally should be exciting. I mean, people go on on PNs on quoting Ramdeo Agarwal, Ji, who's amazing, and Warren Buffett. And most of those guys lead pretty boring, banal lives. I think Wall Street gives you an impression <laughs> that finance is very high funda and there should constantly be action and wolf of Wall Street. I think money management is about doing basics right. Nathan, do you agree? No, I, I I agree. I mean, like sometimes I wonder. You know, I don't know if I should be saying this on camera, but but you know, if we are a broking company or we are an entertainment company, you know, so <laughs> <laughs> trading stocks directly is you know, if I had to teach someone finance, I think you know, give him a few stocks, right? I get him into buy into yeah. some stocks, right? I mean, I think that's the easiest way to get someone educated on finance. And India has like this big financial you know, literacy issue. I, yeah. I think uh, you know, uh, people buying a few stocks, you know, will help in that financial yeah. Yeah. country. You know, I mean, because uh, you know, I I have friends who invest in mutual funds. It's you know, I, they have no clue what's happening, right? As in, there is yeah. some someone who has sold him a fund. He's on an SIP. He, he doesn't care about anything, right? But the same, you know, the another bunch of friends who invest in stocks. They know what's happening to Nifty. What's happening to the GDP? What is where they're talking about it, they're talking about it to the families. So I think we need a lot of that to happen because you know we in India, the you know, the understanding of financial markets, the products, I mean the literacy, all of it is 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 really, really low. So I think I think uh, what what is important though is is when people come to the markets, they come with the right expectations, right? Uh, the problem is a lot of folks come in thinking they can make 30, 40, 50 percent and and they end up taking you know too many risks, right? As in, yeah. uh, so uh, yeah. So as long as you know the heads on uh, in the right place, I think you know direct investing is also you know like a great way to learn about finance. You know, so. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. Please read the risk disclosure documents carefully before investing in equity shares, derivatives, mutual fund, and all other instruments traded on the stock exchanges.